The Lifetime Achievement Award was created in 1992 to honor the pioneers of lifeguarding. It was created when the lifeguard community realized we were rapidly losing the giants of the greatest generation, who after returning from World War II, invented and refined our modern rescue and lifeguard services. It's presented by the city of Hermosa Beach and recognizes a career dedicated to improving public safety through leadership, mentorship, innovation, and physical excellence. We're honored and excited to present this year's Lifetime Achievement Award to Chris Linkletter. Chris is a natural leader who's distinguished herself as an ocean lifeguard, a world-class athlete, and a role model for all lifeguards. She began her career with Los Angeles County in 1984 as an ocean lifeguard, then in 1990 became a permanent lifeguard. In 1999, Chris was promoted as the first female lifeguard captain, and in 2014, the first female Ocean Lifeguard Marine Battalion Chief. Chris has been involved in every aspect of Lifeguard Division, from the Junior Lifeguard Program, the Training Academy, the Lifeguard Association, as an incident commander, and an international ocean competitor. She's an inspiration, mentor, and role model, not only for all our lifeguards, but for everyone she interacts with. If I was to describe Chris Linkletter in one word, I'd have to say leader. Supportive. Model. A role model. Yeah, inspiring. Determined. Disciplined. Dedicated. It's tough. It's genuine. The inspirational. She's a battle axe. Ultimate water woman. But more importantly, she's empowering. Not just to females, but to men as well. Because she was leading the way in a lot of things. She was very courageous, very brave. Um, taking on new assignments and taking them to levels that no one else had. She's so gracefully made it to the top of our world of lifeguarding and still has everybody just totally adoring her. Women that go after those fields that are predominantly male, I, I have such respect for. And so the fact that she's been a pioneer as a female lifeguard working in a pretty much male-dominated society Interestingly, I've never known that to be an issue with her. We look at Chris and we'll remark say, she's one of our best lifeguards. Not one of our best female lifeguards, one of our best lifeguards. They never said, you're a good female lifeguard. They always said, you're a good lifeguard. And coming from a guy like Tom Seth, who's a no-nonsense guy, and he really looks up to Chris and thinks the world of her, that, that means a lot as well. But, uh, and, and Tom also has, uh, couple daughters that aspire to be lifeguards. I have three daughters who are lifeguards and we both are so uh, excited that we can point to Chris and say look this is a great role model for you. You know I could tell you all day about how much how much I look up to her because I, I do. She's done so much for the world of lifeguarding but probably even more for the world of female lifeguarding. When I think of like women that I, I want to be like when I grow up still, <laughs> Chris Linkletter is one of them. <laughs> it was someone you could look up to because you could tell that she, you know, she's dialed and she's good at what she does. I looked at her thinking like, I want to hold myself that high so that I could uh, be that good. That's always like, I've always looked up to her for that reason. It's been fantastic that so many other women have been finding their place in our department. What I like about Chris personally and professionally is that she adheres to our motto, which is stay in shape, watch the water, and do the right thing. And I think she epitomizes those three small sentences uh, in lifeguarding. And I really admire her because through those three sentences, she leads by example for all to follow. It's been a pleasure working with you, Chris. You are a true ambassador of how to be. You embody um, true leadership in, in all good forms. So thank you for your time. Thank you for your professionalism. And thank you for your leadership. Hi, my name is Scott Linkletter. 
I'm the husband of Chris Queenie Linkletter. Queenie is an affectionate name she got from the Cabrillo crew when she worked there. They accepted her right away because she was so damn tough. We've been married now for 27 years. Uh, we've been together for 37. And I met her due to a radio call she made. And it was so impressive listening to somebody on an emergency call and I didn't know who she was. So I asked the people at the headquarters who I was working with that day, who is that? They said it was Chris Rowley. And I said, I've got to meet her. The next morning when I got up on my 24, she was gonna be scheduled. I'd go for a run every day after work. I ran down to Avenue C and I met her. She was so impressive from the get-go, we had everything in common. And we dated for quite a while. We took a little break, like some people do, and then we got back together. And all that time, all I saw was her persistence on wanting to become a better athlete. And the admiration I have for my wife is incredible. She trained day after day after day. No excuses. Never, I'm too tired. Never, I don't have time and then to accept all the responsibilities at work. I don't think she ever refused an assignment and she succeeded at all of them. I was an ocean lifeguard. I was never as good of an ocean lifeguard as my wife. She is phenomenal. The girls on the crew love her, they respect her. And I, I just feel overwhelmed sometimes with all the admiration she gets because it's so well deserved. I, I love my wife for everything she does and is gonna do. And all I have to say is, I love you, honey, and you're the best. The best wife, the best lifeguard, the best friend.